It's only been four days since I completed my Dream 318, Bruno here. But it's time to rip the Band-Aid off. I need him to do some work. So we're gonna head it on to town to work on a project and see how dirty he actually gets. Hopefully he'll come along for the ride. Dig drive, DIY. So if this is your first video of mine, this is Bruno, my Dream 318. I worked on it every day for 130 days straight to get it done. And now it's springtime and I got a lot of work for it. So I spent just a little bit of time waxing it because I hope that that'll maybe let the dirt not stick to it as easily. And I took the three point hitch off because I'm not gonna need that for what we're doing today. And now I just need to get the grater box hooked up and then we'll head on into our project. I know, the grater box does not match now. I'm gonna have to paint it. My hope was I could paint it before the first job I ever needed it for, but there's never time for that. I don't know, let me know down below. How do you think I should paint it? Should I put some gray and yellow together? I'm thinking gray frame and yellow sides. Or maybe I should do it all yellow, all gray? I don't know, what do you think? All right, so Bruno's loaded up. Those first couple scratches are gonna be tough, but uh, we'll head on up there and see what we can do. We're kind of under a time restraint too. Okay, well, we're here at the Harlan Park and this ball diamond out here, we call it the T-ball diamond, it's for the little kids. It always grows up full of terrible weeds and every year we've got to try to till it and work it back down so that's decent to play on. So my cousin Adam came up earlier with his tractor and tiller and got it broke down. He's since been here with his landscape rake and a pull type grader box. He's got it pretty darn close, but we're gonna take Bruno here and see if we can really fine tune it. And then if we get a rain tomorrow, it'll be in really good shape. So I'm gonna get unloaded and go out there and see what we gotta work with. So first things first, this is a spot where we dumped some extra dirt last year, tried to fill in a wet hole and Adam knocked it down for me and tilled it. But we're gonna see if we can get this smoothed out and leveled up and maybe throw some grass seed down, but I'm gonna make some circles here and see if we can just get this smoothed up. So some of the things I'm looking for today are, you know, how does this thing run? It seems to be surging right now, but I'm thinking that once it gets loaded up and I put it through its paces a little bit, I'm hoping that comes out of it. The other things are, I, I haven't got to pull the grader box in a long time with anything with power steering. I always had issues of the front end pushing. And I think with the weights on the front, combined with the bigger tires, I think it's just gonna steer and give me so much more control. So that's what I'm looking forward to trying. Plus, I wanna know that the hydraulics are working well, the box goes up and down responsibly. So all things, I wanna see how they work, and then we'll find out if there's any problems probably after today. So this, this stuff's already packed down a little bit, so I'm gonna drop my rippers down one inch. That'll help break it up as I grade it. So those rippers are really doing a good job of busting up that compacted soil that was in there. I'm gonna run a few more circles and then I'll lift the rippers back up and we'll grade it out smooth. All right, so far the good news is it's already running better. I think it just needed to get a little exercise. And the biggest difference is my hydraulics are so much more responsive on, I got it on the inside lever and it's hard for me to feather it. So I think that that might work out over time too, but that's what I'm fighting right now. When I touch the lever, it goes all the way up or it goes all the way down. So. I'll keep working at it. I'm gonna gather up the soddy clumps, put them in a pile right here, then Adam's gonna load them up in the front bucket of his tractor and haul the clumpy sod out of here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. It's smoothed up, nobody's gonna trip and fall, so. I'm gonna jump over to the ball diamond, see if we can fluff that up a little bit. This is gonna get the tractor dirty. This is all dust.
It's actually a little bit too dry right now, but they're calling for rain tomorrow, so that's why we wanted to get it done today. But that's as good as we're gonna get it for now. It's just powder. We uh, fight the weedy sod like this every year. It's hard to know what to do with it. Adam, uh, you know, if you'd spray this in the fall for us, we might have to not have to do this. Oh, that's a good possibility. You know anybody <laughs> that's got a sprayer of some sort? I think if we have a little tractor to do that behind, that'd be pretty cool. So you want to use my tractor to spray it? Is yeah, that what you're course, saying? Yeah. Okay, all right, we can do that. I said that Adam's my cousin, and people are always commenting that it seems like I never get to the end of all the cousins, you know? Oh, yeah, just never ending. They're it? never ending, nonstop. Actually, your mom and I are first cousins, right? right. But we just call ourselves cousins. Exactly. So. I draw upon all the cousins for all this, all these favors and volunteer work. Thanks for helping. Yeah. I don't know. Let's take a look. High in the middle. All right, do we, wanna... we can take it back. Mm. Yeah, humpy bumpy. It's nice and sturdy, isn't it? Yeah. All right. All right, Bruno is officially dirty and he's got the first job under his belt. You know, I'm really impressed with how it worked. The engine started to smooth out after a while, so that issue I don't think is an issue right now. The things that are bothering me is the brakes. I forgot to put one of the springs that return the brakes to the neutral position. I forgot to put a spring on, so I caught that. You didn't shoot the bottom of those weights, did you? No. A lot of people are upset about the bottom of those weights. I'll get them painted, I'll get them painted. I gotta grind down the front right here, the front weight bracket. I'm gonna grind that corner off. The tire was just rubbing that when I had it at full lock. The other thing that was troubling me a little bit was the hydraulics. Hopefully those will even out over time. But otherwise, I'm super tickled with it. Had plenty of power. It was so easy to steer. So much better steering than my than Brutus was. So, all right. I'm gonna take Bruno back home and wash him off. I won't be doing that after every time I use it. I know that. Back at the park. Let me try to get these ball diamonds dried up a little bit. Hopefully Bruno can help. You know, as I was circling around out there, I was thinking about one of my special viewers, Barrett M and his dad. They watch every video. And Barrett has got a special day coming up. He's turning four years old on May 3rd. So I wanted to wish him a happy birthday and thank him so much for watching. I hope you like Bruno Barrett. And if I'm lucky, I will see you in the next one.